Hey, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, everyone, depending on where you are tuned in from. Um, it's an earlier live talk today because my guest is actually also in my time zone. So um, we decided to just do an afternoon one. <laughs> hey, Scheme, thanks for tuning in. Uh, my guest will be amazing pianist Tony Tissier. I hope I pronounced the name right. Um, hey, Seven. Everybody's up early out there. Well, I guess it's not early. It's 10 a.m. But yeah, it's an early talk today. I'm waiting for Tony to um, jump in. Uh, glad to see you guys doing good. Um, I see Kay is joining us. Um, thank you for tuning in. Hope everyone is safe. It is actually sunny out here. It's been raining for the first time in weeks. So I'm excited to have a talk during daylight. Um, let's just hope that Tony will jump in in a minute. What's up, Ronte? Thanks. I love that my friends are actually supporting me and jumping in. Ooh, there goes my girl, Ida. What's up? Okay, yeah. Maybe this is a better time to do talks because in the evening, I guess everyone is on. So people are not really tuned in to my talks. Um, yeah. Oh, well, whatever. Um... I hate doing monologues, so um, let me see where he is. It's 4 o'clock where he is as well. It's 4 p.m. I'm excited to have my evening off tonight. Um, well, tomorrow I have another evening talk. Oh, there he goes. Um, let me see. Let me get him in here. Um, yes, yes. Wow, I have more <laughs> more viewers than normal. What's up, Norman? I love everyone jumping in here. Hey, Tony. Hey. Well, I feel my How connection is bad. The connection is bad, I think. Okay. I have a delay. What, what do you, can you, can you fix it or? Um, okay. Yes. It's there better. you go. Yes. It looks like it's better. Ooh, wow. I was afraid. So, how are you doing? I'm good. I see you got the the beard growing. It's it's getting fuller. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting older with this uh, quarantine, you know. <laughs> we we all do. You don't know how to use a razor or, you know. No, I I you forgot. You know? I forgot everything. I'm like <laughs> barber shops closed. I, I I didn't want to miss the time the hour to meet you, so I was like looking at my clock, and then I tried to connect. My my internet was not working. Oh really? And now it's working again. It's, I hope, you know, it's, it's weird, like, you know, when I need you, when we need, we need us, each yeah. other, the, the thing is like, and because I never connect, I, I never go uh, on live at this time. Of the, of right. The you suggested this time, though. I say what? You, you wanted to do the afternoon. And I was like, okay. I would say what? Wow. You did. Okay. I can go back into our conversations. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I figured you may want to do it in the afternoon because you do your your other lives in the evening. Um, I wasn't sure about the fans, but I I already have questions coming in, so we'll get to the questions um, in a minute. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for wanting to be on this talk. I was excited that you actually wanted to talk to me. <laughs> yeah, I, I always wanted to talk to you. <laughs> and it's crazy because I want to ask you so many things ever since I met you and we never got the chance. So now I have to try and calm myself down and not take over this whole conversation by asking you questions that I want to know. <laughs> no, it's, I mean, take your, take your time. I'm just kidding. Now, yes. uh, can I do something? Yes. Actually, can I, because I, I'm holding the phone with my hands. Yeah, yeah, I want yeah. to put the phone on the thing. Yeah, go ahead. Do whatever so, you feel, whatever you want to do. She's gonna put the phone on the thing. Uh, yeah, so, I have my phone on a thing too, so I don't have to keep holding it. I hope he's gonna keep a good connection. Good? <laughs> Is it good? That's, yeah, it's fine. I mean, we'll, if, if this all fails, we can always set a new date, so. No, 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 it's not failing. It's good. <laughs> Speaking of existence, this is not failing. Here we go. Yes, there you it's go. It's working. Oh, all right. Good. All right. Woo! Back in the kitchen. Yeah, is the, the Wi-Fi is way better, no? It's good. It's fine. So how are you doing? Well, I'm actually great because I'm excited that this is a talk during my day and I don't have to sit up in the evening trying to talk to everyone. 
Um, I'm excited that you're in my same time zone, but I'm also excited for all the live streams that you've been doing with your brother. They are so funny. I'm sorry, they're just you know, so hilarious. <laughs> you should you should tell about say that to him because uh, he want he wanted to stop, so we stopped since Monday. We didn't. Scott Why did you like, want to stop? Because he said, you know, it uh, was like it was, was cool, but uh, you know, he, uh, my brother is sometimes is, and so. <laughs> you know, I was sad. I told him, and so many people sent me messages yesterday. He was like, "Where is the life? It's not on. What, what happened, guys?" And then, uh, you know, they say, they say, you know, because, you know, it's hard. You know, it's hard time. You know. He just probably thinks it's too much. If you do live streams all the time, it's you know, it's not special yeah. anymore. So I do agree that you don't have to do it all the time, but. I like the interaction between you and your brother. For people that don't know Tony, because there's a lot of people from my network jumping in that may not know you. Um, Tony's a pianist and he has a twin brother who's a um, violinist. So they do live streams and they're just, the interaction between them, them two is so funny. Like I just, to me, I'm, I'm sorry. I love the music that you both make and I love when you're playing together, but I, I really love when you guys are like bickering and you know, just really trying to get it together. And it's just so natural and real. And that's, it's not scripted. It's just real brotherly love, I guess. <laughs> okay. I hope you're recording this. I'm gonna send that to Scott. Okay, good. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm gonna tape it and it's gonna be on. Um, but yeah, I'll, tell, I'll send him a message saying, listen, man, we need the live streams at least once a week or something. <laughs> it's you. so funny and, um, but yeah, you both are so talented. Um, when I first met you, that was the first time I knew of you. And I saw you play um, with Keon over here in Rotterdam, actually. And it just amazed me how, how great you were as a musician. And then I looked you up and I started following you and I saw all the things you did. Because what people often forget is if you don't have a classical background, you're not sure how you can you know, um, collaborate in that way, how you can fuse the, the different genres. Um, I actually come from a classical background and I've worked in classical arts and classical music as well. Um, so for me, it was very interesting to see how you navigate in the music industry as a pianist. Can you, you play too? Huh? I, I played the piano for like six years or seven years when I was young. I had like a private um, teacher and everything. Um, but then the piano got sold and I kind of didn't play anymore. Wow. Um, I come from a musical family. My dad was a guitarist that played in bands and stuff. So, you know, everybody plays an instrument in my family. I no um, idea. Wow. Yeah, I'm not as good as you. No, not nowhere near. I can read music though. So I'm kind I'm of not, proud of that. I'm not that good, you know. I'm just if trying. you're not that good, then I'm really bad. <laughs> no, no, no. What I mean is like, don't, don't get fooled by uh, what you saw on stage. Every time I'm on stage, I, I, I'm, I'm going to, into his moments. You know, those moments I don't control. It's not me playing. It's like his moments. And when I, I'm at home, like here, I play. I'm like, shit. I don't have his. But I still me. love it. I mean, you have to understand that for you as an artist, you always want to do better. You always want to improve your skills, and you always have people that you look up to. But you're one of those people for us people. You know, I wish I could play like you, and then no. maybe if I play like you, I wish I could play even better. So. Yeah. That's creative I mean, people. Thank you for uh, these kind words. So, how are you doing? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm good. I just wanted to know. He's a, he's a genius, believe me. Yeah, exactly. Well, exactly. I mean, we don't have, you see, this is, this is crazy because uh, it's like, uh, it's not my time. So people, they don't really, you know, my, my followers are more uh, from LA, right. from New York. Now you have like the Parisian people, I guess. Yeah, and the, the European and maybe Asian people tuning in. Okay, um, but they don't they don't follow me, so I'm not gonna. Well, get... you know, hey, you might you don't know who's following you. There may be some people that just never say anything. Um, I see that my friend, it's in the strings, is, is joining. So yeah, he's all the way in in Nashville. Um, right. So there's people from all over the world still tuned in. I want to know how, because uh, you know, you got shut down as well with all your your shows and your concerts. Um, how was that impact for you? How are you dealing with that? Uh, it's funny because I listened, I watched your lives before, you know, because I'm, I'm a big fan too. Thank you. you. Know, I, I never watched TV before, but it was the first time I can watch TV, you know, I like TV. That's, 
Well, right. You or some of the lives. I like, I like so to watch some of the lives. And uh, you asked this question to many of the, of the people you had on, the, on your show. And yeah. uh, every time I, I was asking this question to myself, because, you know, I listen to, I can answer yeah. to you. But now I can. I can. Uh, for me, it's, uh, let's be honest, you know, let's be honest. Because I, I heard a lot of people, they, they're like, oh, wow, it's so dramatic. We're in quarantine. We're not going to, like, really, it's really dramatic the way they talk about it. It's like they always walk like crazy. Like they all, always right. have like, so much walk. And now they have no walk. Yeah. Let's be honest. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I've been like three, two months, three months in the role, like not working at home as a musician. You right. know, Some, sometimes I have no tour, especially uh, like from uh, September to um, to uh, I don't know until like sometimes a long time like actually. Yeah. Uh, until December, you know, that like, it's December. I don't tour, and you know, you know. So I mean, I tour mostly in the summer. And yeah. uh, maybe April and March. So they fucked me on this one. Okay. But, but it's where I do, I make my money. The rest of the time, I'm here in this little studio. Oh, I was in New York before. And I just uh, practice my, my, my piano, you know? Right. So, so it didn't really affect you that much right now? I mean, it affected me in a, in a, in a way. But I, I was, you know, as an artist, I think uh, most of my peers will, uh, will uh, be agree on this. We, we, we often uh, uh, by ourselves. Yeah, uh, shredding, you know, and uh, also we don't have the security of the, of, the, of the jobs, you know, like being like, oh, wow, um, uh, tomorrow uh, I'm going to get paid at the end of the month, this, this amount I'm going to uh, be able to. Do. No, we never know. So, you know, when people call me, they call me like one month, two months before. I say, hey, Tony, are you up for this right. tour? You want to play on this TV show? Do you want to do this? And I say, oh, okay. No. Yeah, that's true. So that's it's, true. Uh, it's not like. Um, yeah, but you now know that it's. It's not coming for sure because everything is shut down. So you won't get any any requests to play but, anywhere at this point. That's true. I, I, you, I just realized right now. <laughs> I mean, so you okay? So you were based in New York um, before all this. Um, uh, last wait. year. I'm sorry. Was it New York or LA? Because I remember you also had, or what was it? San Diego. I think you were talking about San Diego. Yeah, I love San Diego. So I was in uh, in New York for six years, and then I moved to San Diego. Okay, and now and you're I back stayed, in Paris. I stayed two years in San Diego, and I came back to Paris uh, last July. Oh, so you've been here for since July already? Yeah, but uh, I was touring a lot. I was a lot in uh, in Spain and Italy and Germany, and so so I I didn't really like uh, get to, you know, like to fly all that way all back and forth yeah i just i just start to to uh, adapt to my new home right so how is it for you to be back based in paris again uh at the beginning it was uh, i don't know it was uh, in between i, I didn't but the, the cool thing let's let's focus on the positive you know yeah the cool thing is uh what i missed miss uh, compared to uh what I, I love to, to enjoy, what I enjoyed being back yeah. here in Europe, it's the, the way of life, the, the, the fact we could go to a cafe, have time to, you know, to, uh, to drink with friends and uh, right. we'll travel to Barcelona in a couple of hours, going to, uh, to uh, you know, Berlin in, in a few hours. And uh, when I was in the States, it was difficult to, you didn't do all of that? You didn't have that, that feel in, that you could do that in your life? When I was in the States, I was more focused on paying my rent and... Uh, uh, oh, it's less relaxed. And, uh, and uh, having shows, uh, because in, even if you play a TV show in, uh, in LA or a uh, big gig somewhere, you always, your rent is 3,000 dollars, so you need so to pay So it's more box. expensive to live in the States, so therefore you felt like you had to work more? Uh, you have to walk uh, non-stop. As soon as you stop walking, they call someone else. So, yeah. and uh, there are so many great musicians. Like, let's talk about the, 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 the level of, uh, you know, the minimum. The minimum right. is rare. It's, they are not like bullshit. They are not like, when I say bullshit, I'm not sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry, no, yeah, no. They are not like, uh, they don't like, oh yeah, it's, my, it's a friend of, uh, of this person. Oh, it's, it's play, okay, it's nice. No, there are no uh, room for medio mediocrity. Right. Yeah. So, so it's like you have to be like on the top first, and when you have to be on the, when you're on the top of uh, what you think is I mean, the best you can, you yeah. still have to be available. <laughs> if you're yeah, not available, you don't true. call you anymore. 
They call you one time. If you say no, they could not call you no more. You know, so, so. so do you feel like, do you feel like you had to keep living up to that level in order to literally live and survive? Yeah. I mean, in, when I was in, in the, the States, In the U.S., yeah. In the U.S., uh, uh, it was like, uh, it was great because uh, I met Kion, I met uh, Christian yeah. Scott. I met, I met, uh, I met Wallace Rene who passed away. Uh, that's really sad. Uh, Right. Due, due to the, the virus, but uh, I met so so many crazy, amazing musicians. I, I, I love to uh, I play with them. I play, I record with them, and uh, and uh, I was like always like excited, but always like uh, struggling. You know, I was like, how, how much I have? You know, right. every, every month when I had to That's pay my terrible. rent, every month I had to pay my rent. I was like looking at. Uh, I'm not kidding. You're gonna think uh, my bills like almost at the dollar dollar. Yeah. You know, like. Um, yeah. if, uh, I have one dollar left. I can go to Starbucks and buy a fucking cookie. You know, I was, I was, and I look at myself. You know, I was in my twenties, yeah. and I look at uh, people around me. They were in their thirties, forties, fifties, and they all sixties, and they were all acting the same way as me. And they were great musicians. So I was like, if I do it, why not? And I saw those, those guys doing it like amazing musician. I don't. I'm not gonna name name them because if they watch the live, right, right, right. Them. Don't worry. But, yeah. Like they, they have to take the night bus to go back to their place, you know. That's terrible, though. And the legendary musician, they play on so many recordings, and they are like, I mean, they should not be struggling with it. And that's so. Do you think that has to do with the expenses of living in the states, or does it have to do with getting paid as an actual trained musician? Like, do you think that 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 people should value the skills and the talent of trained musicians more as in do you feel like you got underpaid all these great musicians i think uh i think uh i think first i think so that's good. <laughs> but, uh, I, very good you always have to think first <laughs> i think uh this is not about the the, the value or whatever uh, it's more about the the the, the whole um uh, you know the there are no money for uh, there's for, no money uh, for art in the states. I mean, there are, but they, for the live music and stuff, they, they pay the, the big stars and stuff. Yeah. But as a musician and uh, as an accompanist, or even as a sideman, or as a right music, more like uh, it's hard to to uh, to. There are no money because uh, those uh, those those clubs where you play. And uh, those places, they don't have a fund too either to pay you. So, yeah, so they, you're not, you know, no one's trying to use you. You know, it's just like they don't have, a, they don't have a business going on. So that's so. Is it different in Europe? In? Yeah, because uh, the, I think what I live in both places, and uh, what I see here is you can go to ask a grant to some places and places, and they all get subvention. That's uh, true. That's so true. So all those clubs, you know, they get like a. Uh, Funds from uh, different uh, from yeah, the government. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got Rudy yeah. Get money from the government. So then, in uh, when you get money, when you want to do a tour in, in Europe, when people, I did, I was like, wow, you want to do a tour? You have help to the tour. Yes, yes. You, you, you get the something. funding. Yeah. And then they give you, they send you a check of twenty thousand bucks, you know, to make a tour. And I'm like, what? Okay. You can save on that too. You can just put an economic uh, tour together and keep some of the money yeah. to invest in your art. Okay. I keep it for myself. No, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna close my because the light is really terrible. I just look at myself. I was like, I don't care. It's okay. So that's crazy because I never really I thought there were grants and subsidies and funding in the United States as well. No, but, but... Probably, probably, but uh, nothing. To, I mean, it's there are so many musicians. It's big. The state is like 17 times uh, France. You know. Or, yeah. Um, it's a big fucking country. You know. Uh, it's true. Uh, so where does your brother live at this point? Does, is he in, in France as well? Scott, right now he's in Dallas. Oh, he's in Dallas? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah. So the streams are actually accompanied with a time difference as well. And your mother, your mom lives in, in Paris? Yeah, you want to know the address? No, I'm just kidding. No, because no. No, I like the fact that she jumps in and she just, you know, laughs as well at you guys and... Yeah, you know, cool. she raised two talented musicians, so I have nothing but respect for her. But the fact that she's actually 
on Instagram and joining you guys in live and, and you guys shouting her out. That's amazing. I think that's great. Maybe she's there actually. Should I, should I uh, get my friend to come? I think I can do this. I guess to people to, to tell them I'm live. Oh yeah, I, I'm not sure how, how to do that in here, but um, I, do, I, I did ask people if they have um, questions for you and one person actually already asked a question. Um, Valu, Valu, I'm, I'm not sure oh, how to pronounce it. What type of music did you begin with at piano? What type of music at begin? Yeah, what type of music? I thought it was classical music when you started. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's funny you say that because uh, evocation is, is uh, yeah, it's classical. The classical, uh, I mean, I started the conservatory as a, you know, as a kid, you know, I was four years old, five years old. And, That's really young. That's really yeah, was it, Did you like playing the piano or did your mom just say, hey, you're going to do the violin and you're going to do the piano? <laughs> Uh, I picked the piano because my mom was playing piano all, all, all day long at, at home, you know? She was playing, okay. uh, she was playing uh, all these, uh, these lines and the piano all this shopping. Oh, all wow. This, uh, and uh, actually I have, a, I have a picture of this. But anyway, I was, on, I, 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 I was supposed to post a picture of it. But she, and so I, I was like, I want to play piano. When I was six months, she was playing piano and I was on her, on her, on her lap. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, wow. So I pick, it's got to pick the, the, the double bass. Oh, the double bass, okay. okay. Then it was too big for him, so they say... Let's do the, <laughs> As a, a little boy, part. yes. <laughs> I would imagine. Yeah. Well, I think you guys are so talented. How did you get into different genres of music? What was, how old were you and what made you feel like, okay, I've, I've got my classical training, I now want to do crossover or something? Yeah, um, good question too. Thank you for asking. Uh, it's not. Uh, I start to uh, to focus on the, the bigger spectrum of music when the, when I uh, when I got uh, uh, I was fourteen years old and I was uh, kind of bored, not bored, but you know I was like wow, because you know I was I got my diploma. Right, yeah, my, I saw I, that I, with I, honors. I finished the conservatory, I was 14. So after that, I tried to get to a big conservatory in Paris, like the big one. Yeah, like the, uh -huh. you know, it's not, it, you don't learn stuff there, but you learn stuff, it's more like a, a network in a, like right. a big place, you know? So I tried to get there and um, they say no. So uh, really? That, yeah, so after that, I was so bummed and uh, my old teacher was like, man, just start jazz. You have big hands. I mean, I don't know if I have big hands, but uh -huh. then about, then about <laughs> big, you know? and uh, so I start jazz. And uh, at the beginning, I was like, "It's music for old people," you know. I was like, yeah. I was like, "Oh," I was like, "Oh," and uh, <laughs> I start jazz and uh, jazz, you know, improvising and stuff. And uh, I loved it. And uh, then I, because I, I could play, uh, I can, I could read. I was reading uh, yeah. w well. I start to play for a re reggae band. Oh wow! And uh, they they used to have two keyboard player, one yeah. playing the, sk the skunk, yeah, and one playing the melodies, and okay. I could play yeah, yeah, both yeah. at the same time. So I played both at the same time, and uh, wow! And so they, uh, yeah, so they allowed me to to sub two play piano player. I played, with, I mean, it's very good. I was, and then I started to play with uh, Alpha Blondie. Oh time. wow! So you just magically from you know I don't know what to do now. Okay, I'm gonna try jazz. I'm gonna try reggae, and boom! You just get to play with Alpha Blondie. No, because uh, at the time, I, I, I think it's still the same, the same thing today. Uh, you have to understand. For me, I mean, I, I don't know if you know, but musician, uh, being a classical trained musician, it's uh, it's a big world. But it's, it's when you know how to read, and uh, you're young and you have no fear, and you don't know about your yeah. ego yeah. and stuff. So often in the rap industry, in the hip hop, they hire like young people from the out of the who can play lines, arpeggio fast, and yeah. they have technical uh, ability. They, they, yeah. they, they have no ego, they have no like. A That's test. true. I don't have test. I didn't have, ah, I like this, I like that. I, I, I like piano. I play whatever you want me to play. So I, I start to play this, this stuff. 
And I get IOT by people to play stuff like this. But yeah, I, I, saw, I see some people I really like in the chat. Uh, okay. Adrian, Adrian Soliman and Thomas, Bout Thomas Bouton. Nice. I've seen them in your lives too. So again, people who just are joining, if you have a question, please feel free to, to use the question box so we don't have to keep scrolling and we Faith, can just get to... Be honest, be honest. Do I look okay with the lights? Because I'm, I'm Yeah, you, you look, look fine. I have an ego. I look old. No, I look older, no? I look tired because all these lives and bad sleep and schedules are off. So don't worry about it. You look fine. I um, don't want to look fine. I want to look great. I'm just kidding. Yeah, well, then yeah. you should have shaved. No, I'm kidding. Oh! <laughs> I'm kidding. You said you look old with the beard. So that was your words. Oh, bro. Um, no, you look fine. You look. I like the beard, actually. So okay, you may want to you. You uh, hold on to that. Someone is laughing. All right. Yeah, wow. I'm funny. I can be funny. <laughs> so what's the question was already? Because I forgot. No, we were talking about you getting into different styles of music. You're playing with Alpha Blondie. Um, what are some of the the really big moments in your life where you, where you felt like? Because you were talking about you don't have it, you didn't have an ego, so you were just you know networking and playing for everyone. Did the ego come in at some point when you start uh, playing for big names? No, because he uh, said no. <laughs> I'm still no, me. <laughs> I mean, no, because you know you have to understand. Also, uh, when I say no ego, ego in the way of. Uh, But sometimes because say oh, I can't play that, it's not for me. I'm, I, I deserve that, or I'm this. When you play, no, piano, I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. When I play piano, I play piano. So yeah. Me, what I play, that uh, piano styles, they are not like uh, they are yeah, no reggae, they are no jazz, yeah. they are no classical. For me, they are music. So uh, when I play this piano, the, the, I was focusing on the sound of the sound I, I get and what I, I can I can bring to the table in in a musical context. context. If the music sucks, you know, I play with some people too. I don't want to mention names again because but <laughs> I, I play on stage for uh, some rappers. And, I saw uh, that you that you worked with um, BJ, the Chicago kid. I'm going to mention names. Yeah. How did you link up with him? It was, I didn't know who he was. That's a funny but It was for a commercial first for uh, NSC. For, But how did you get up with him? Did somebody link you guys, or did he come? Listen, this is, this is crazy. So uh, Louis, Louis Vuitton, you know, LVMH, LVMH, yeah. LVMH uh, you know, Louis Vuitton, uh, NSC, who own NSC. They wanted to do a, um, a commercial for a, a liquor. And, and we wow. wanted to hire a rapper, a famous rapper in the States, and a, a famous jazz pianist in Europe. You were but, famous. No, no, no. Yeah, listen, I didn't, I, we didn't think about me first. But uh, years ago, I did, uh, I was, I did with Scott, with my twin brother, we did the inauguration of the new uh, Louis Vuitton Foundation Louis Vuitton, in, uh, yeah. in Paris. And we, we played music with Janet Cardiff, which is she, a Canadian artist. And we did all the installation. We, we got a crazy like, uh, time. It was amazing. Right. And uh, so my name was in the, I guess, in the in their little papers, you know, I don't know. And so what happened is like, they were supposed to hire someone from Blue Nut, the label, label, Blue, Blue Nut, you know, like uh, art, Blue Nut artists like Robert Glasper, or something. Yeah. Actually, it's a, a European guy from Blue Nut. So not Robert Glasper, but someone uh, from, from, from Europe, you know? Right. As, uh, with a big name in jazz. And they look, they didn't find anyone they, on Blue Nut, but they liked as what they told me. And then we went to YouTube and we, we saw my video with Scott. And then they, they called my manager at the time and they said, oh, we want to do a documentary. They liked it a little bit, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and so I, I, uh, I, uh, I went to the, the set and I saw all these cameras and stuff. And, and, and uh, they, they, it was in New York. And they said, oh, we're going to fly you to Paris. I was like, to my country? To my, yeah. They were flying me to, <laughs> to Paris with a rapper. I don't know who we were. And then I arrived to the hotel, nice hotel and stuff. We start with three days of of of, of shooting, you know. Right. And I, I, I saw I saw the guy, you know, this, this guy is cool. And he said, hey, "What's up, man? What, what's what's going on? Let's play some music together." <laughs> and and uh, and then we play and stuff. And uh, they run to the club. They, it was crazy. And uh, we composed That's some. That's fun. And then it was like, "Oh, my name is DJ the Chicago Kid." I was like, "Oh, cool. Uh, they never heard of you." And then people, you know. At some point, I was like, oh, shit, he played for Obama, so he's famous. 
And so I was, I was chill with him. And we, we started to, to be friends, you know? So, That's great. But uh, I didn't know. I have no idea. And uh, I, did, I have no idea it was a, a commercial. I thought it was like a documentary. But, right. You know, it, was, it turned out to be a commercial. It's been, we say, okay, this is like, uh, uh, yeah, long story. But uh, it, was, it was good. Then uh, from that, from that uh, I connect with other people. We, right. Matt Jones, who played for the... Uh, they make their, he make, he make their run, run, run for uh, for G, uh, PJ Morton. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he yeah. worked with Keon and Scott, right? We oh, yes, yeah. With Matt Jones. Yeah. And for the Lion Kings, too, they work with Hans Zimmer and uh, all this. I mean, yeah, it's, like, yeah. it's like a constellation of, uh, you know. So that a, kind of also put you into a, a whole new network, that um, commercial. Yeah, I was, I was lucky enough because my brother, actually, I have to give it to him because that's the truth. My brother was the one who... Who linked uh, everyone and who... When I moved to New York, I was broke and uh, I was totally broke, you know. I lived in a, on a, on a, in a jazz club for... Uh, really? For six months, I lived on the couch of a jazz club. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah so it was... Struggling like, uh, artist, for real. No, I was... Uh, it was I, had, I had no shower, so I was going to the gym downstairs to take my shower. And uh, I had no money to pay rent, so the guy from the club said, you can stay there. Oh, on wow. Couch, I my, my suitcase behind the bar. And he said, in exchange, you have to work for me and you have to book. So I was booking the club, booking the artist. Oh, we cool. Nobody, maybe he didn't pay me for that, but he gave me this couch. So I stayed like five to six months, maybe maybe more, on this couch and uh, taking my shower downstairs, eating from the kitchen. Like the, it was terrible. That's food. crazy. But in the uh, Scots, my two, I was about to go back to Europe. And I was like, uh, it's not for me. It's too, it's too right. much. You know? right. And uh, I just broke up with my ex at the time, so it was like a, a, a big nightmare. And right. um, and Scott uh, put me in touch with uh, Jill Delabat. She's on Facebook too. Maybe I should. Uh, we should watch. We watch this. Uh, look at this. But yeah. she, she she put me uh, in contact. He put me in contact with her, and she hired me for shows like America's Got Talent and this stuff. And from that, you know, it's like it's, it's like a community of. Uh, of people and so musicians. There, there, yeah. Know, and, and, yeah. So, so yeah. thank you, Scott, for helping your brother out, I guess. Well, that's what family's for. He's probably sleeping at this time. Yeah, probably. He'll, <laughs> he'll see it. He'll see it. You shouted him out, out so at least um, he got his credits for that. No, I'm happy to, to see that you're at least doing better. Um, so you've worked, you've literally worked with pretty great people. Um, what are still some things that are on your so-called bucket list as a musician? What are what would you like to do once we get out of this quarantine? Uh, but I'm still I'm already doing it. You know I'm I mean? already doing it. I mean, I changed my game. I changed my uh, I changed my I shift. I shift. I had to shift. You know, you you have to adapt. You know, as an improviser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you improvise, you, you, you can't expect to, uh, the tune to be uh, whatever you, you expect uh, to. If, if the piano no, player, you know, if you play someone play a chord, you have to react to the chord, you know, it's the same thing. Yeah. So, uh, in this case, I play the chord, so I can, I can play whatever I want. <laughs> but what I, what I mean is like, uh, since the beginning of this, I start to buy uh, gears, you know, I bought, uh, I bought uh, gears, keyboards. I got on doors two, two days ago by uh, 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 software. Okay. Uh, so you, uh, oh, so you can start like doing everything yourself. Yeah, I was. I, I bought the software. I, I found out my computer was not at the level to to play. I was like, fuck! I just spent like one fifty. Uh, oh shit! So I called the guy who made the, the software. I said, man, I'm sorry. Sir. I'm I'm sorry. I can refund you because when you, when you you download something and then yeah. he checked my video. He said, man, do you want me to endorse you? By the way, I was like, yeah. That's great. So he sent me all the plugins for free. That's why. Well, hey. They cost so much money. It's yeah, like, that's so. really good, actually. That 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 happened. That's why. That's why you have to let people know what you do, because you never know. People might want to support, you know, the artist or whatever it is that you do. But again, I, I still want to come back to that bucket list. Who is an artist that you would love to to play with or do a collaboration with that you haven't like, done? Like that right, right now? With? Huh? Right now or after? <laughs> Like, yeah, right. just just in general. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, so many. Uh, so many. So many. Who so would you want that first call from? Like, they're calling you now. Like, let's work. Um. I mean, 
<laughs> Too many uh, people uh, to mention. Yeah, but I don't. I, I will. You know, but people. I, I my my idols, my heroes. Yeah. People I really look up to. Uh, I don't want to play with them because I don't think I have a level to play with them. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. That's, so I don't want. You know what? Uh, that's really that's really good that you say that because you know me as you know my background being a mu music journalist i've once had to interview people that i looked up to that i was growing up with and they turned out to be terrible people and i was just crushed like my whole childhood dream i can't play the, the, the music anymore and it took me years literally to listen to their music again without having to feel some type of way because I've met them in person. So sometimes when I got the opportunity to meet, to, to interview somebody, I may not want to do it because I just want to keep that dream alive. <laughs> wait, wait, what, what, I, what I was saying is it's not even to me, it's like, I don't think I have a level the, the, to, if I, you know, most people I, I look up to the biggest, uh, I would be like afraid to fuck the music up. Right. You know, to, be, to arrive and be like, Okay, I, I want to play with you. And then what I play is not, is, I, I, you know, I prefer you to You feel like to... you have to do better? Like you have to be on their level? No, I want to listen to them. Oh, I right. Want, I want to let them be what they are. What they are, yeah. I want to be me. But so I can't really, it's like, I can't call everybody because I feel like they are too good. They don't need me. They don't need the... Uh, they don't, they their don't music need the... stands on its own, yeah. Yeah, but if, if someone comes here, I'm not going to say no, you know. But, you know, my brother, for example, he plays with Steve Wonder. You know, what you can do? I mean, what's what's the next level after Stevie Wonder? I mean, that very true. What's the next? Did you ask him that? I don't know, but you know, I met. I should ask him that. What's the next level after Stevie Wonder? How was that for him? Yeah, I, 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 I met, I met him. Steve, I, I met Stevie Wonder uh, after a show Scott did with him. I went backstage, and you know who was doing the line for the, the picture with Stevie Wonder? You know, you, you know, backstage you have like people be like, oh, please, can yeah, I have yeah, a picture yeah. with you? Dave Chappelle, uh, Spike Lee. And the 50 oh. cents. We oh, were wow. in the line. All I'm in the kidding. same picture? No, we were, we were like trying to get a picture with Stevie. We were already backstage. It's right, they, the... were, they were in line waiting to get the picture. In the backstage. So it's been right. like, we were already like in VIP concert. So I was like, oh, Stevie's like a big fucking, big fucking deal. Yeah. And when I went out of the, of the thing, I see I saw Robert Gasper and uh, his son and uh, my, my good friend James Blake. And we were not backstage, but we were like, I mean, I, I mean, the show was like 20,000 people. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I mean is like, I don't think, I mean, even most, most people, you know, like the people who look up to, they, you know, they have some, for me, uh, I would love to work with anyone who, uh, who is honest. Yeah. I, I don't That's say to be, uh, to be nice and to people to be like, oh, Tony, good, good, good uh, work. I just say that's the truth. I prefer yeah. to work with someone who is truly honest with his art, with his craft. Yeah. And who, uh, I don't care about the, uh, our, our pretentious someone else. Right, right, much. right. It's not about that. Some, something is magical. You, can, you know, Keon, for example, when I walk with him, I mean, I was like, I already love his music. When he called me to walk with him, I, I did this tour with him. I was like, this dude is like, I mean, the way he played trumpet is the same way he, he talked to you after the show, you know? Yeah. So, He's so, so normal. Him. He's so... Je yeah. Yeah, it's genuine. Was I was, hurt. I was scared. I was like, this guy is making fun of me. You know, he's like, he's playing with me. He was like, so Tony, yeah, what's up? It was like, why well, is so cool? Like, it's, it's something weird. It's gonna, he's gonna slap me in the, in the back. I was, like, you know? <laughs> I, I, said, I was like, it's impossible. And and he was, he's, he's really genuine and and, and nice. Yeah. Like, and then I met other people like this, and I was like, wow, this is the kind of people I want to work with. And I'm so lucky. I'm 34 now. I'm, I'm not a young anymore. 34, right. 34, and I'm. I, I work with my favorite musician so far. I, I, when I was younger, I was looking up to those guys, listening to Seamus Blake, to Keon, because he's a little bit older than me. Yeah. Uh, Logan, Logan Richardson, uh, Wallace Ron, Ronnie, yeah. all these guys. And then I moved to New York and I started to play with those guys. And I was like, wow. I was that shaking. That must be amazing. I was shaking. Yeah. You have no idea. And then I played with some big names like over pop music or. Uh, uh, and I didn't have. I didn't stress because I didn't really like. Right. That's, I mean, I have the same thing. Like, you know, what people consider, you know, uh, exciting people. Everybody has different types of idols and different types of, you know, um, people that they look up to. So I can definitely understand how you felt. But I know Keon is one of the, the nicest, most genuine people that I've ever met in this industry, even because, you know, you being European, I think Europeans tend to be more down to earth 
we don't really like the pretentious and the whole puha and the all extra. That's that's really something that's American. No offense, but that's just what the culture is. That's so. That. You said it. You said it. I said it. I said I can say it because I've been. I spent yeah. enough time in America and with, with artists, and they all agree. So you know, there's a certain type of attitude that comes with this industry, being in the music industry, uh, and I think Europeans navigate more normal around it. I guess. Um, I see it here when people when famous people walk down the street, they can walk down the street. In America, it's like everybody's screaming at you and running at you it's not necessarily the same over here unless you're a teen idol um i actually walked with dave Chappelle on the streets in amsterdam and he could just walk around he had a big boom box blasting music like hey here i am and i'm looking at it like oh my gosh everybody's gonna just run at him but that didn't happen it was maybe two people that stopped him to say what's up and that's well, it you can still walk around here without getting you know ambushed by the fans. I mean, uh, yeah. I, I don't know this, this, this level, level of fame, but... Well, when I met you, I, I was like, he seems like he, he's too good to talk. <laughs> but What? that must be your French exterior. <laughs> What? Uh, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no, because it's funny because, yeah. I mean, I, I hang out with some celebrities in, in New York, some friends of mine are, are, are actors from TV shows. And uh, you know, we 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 I played with you know Gary Dolan. Maybe he's gonna watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know him. He's already, yeah. Gary's a good friend of mine. I played his band. Uh, he, he stayed at my place in New York when I was living in New York, and uh, he he moved in Paris ne ne next to my neighbor. So we were out in Paris and in New York in LA too. And uh, every time he was in the street, so it was I mean impossible for him to walk. And you know, people were like, "Hey, picture, picture!" <laughs> and I was like, "Real?" Yeah, I was yeah. like, "Man!" I was like, Whoa. So. I never, and, 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 yeah, uh, I don't he understand. He seems that. like a great person. It's, it's, really, it's really cool. I saw that you also worked with um, uh, Gigi Hadid. No, yeah. Wow. Now, she's Dutch. I didn't know that, but she's, she, um, she's cool. And oh, she's cool, okay. <laughs> when, she, no, when she arrived to the, to the, the shot, uh, we, did, we did a commercial together. Yeah. And I saw this, this kid arriving, like, I saw a young kid, really skinny, and so he was, was, was there, but I didn't know. Yeah. And then she went inside the, the thing, and she went out of the thing. And she was a completely different person. They make up, they put her yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, that kid who came in, like, that, that girl was Gigi Hadid. I was like, really? she looked like a, a 12 years old. You know, I was like, besides, she looked super young. Yeah. And then, and then she was cool. As a break, she started with uh, burgers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But eating burgers. At the break. Hamburgers, you know? The, I'm sorry. She was, the... she was, eat, she was eating uh, hamburgers. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, well. Oh, but I mean, she, yeah, but she, I was looking at it and I was like, she's Dutch. So um, they have a, um, her and her sister have a cousin that mm -hmm. I had in, in one of my master classes last uh, week and she can sing her butt off. This, this girl, very young as well. She's going to drop a song, her first song. And she, yeah, they're, they're such a talented family as well. Are, are, are you a t teacher, too? a singer? I No, no. Um, I'm, so I do artist management and consultancy. So I help young beginning artists um, basically starting their career, how to go about it, what to know about the industry, what, how to navigate, who to look for, how to, you know, how to network and how to release music who to talk to, who not to talk to, what to look for in contracts, collaborations, uh, what to pay attention to, and how to protect yourself and your art. Nice. And that's the most I need to learn this. Actually, you, need I to just, learn, you should know yeah, this already. This person uh, will just uh, click, you know? Clickbait? This guy is a genius. So listen, what does he do? He's a beat maker. But he's a beat maker. He was my student. I was teaching him piano whatever, in New York. And uh, I, I found out he was doing beats and, he, he, and now we start working together. And um, actually, during this quarantine, I start to, we start to go back and forth with, with piano stuff and, and we did like some crazy stuff. You know like, what I like, what I like about you is you do that in your live streams as well. 
you shout out everyone that you um, um, that you respect for whatever talent they have. You mention everyone, and I know you can't probably do that the whole time because everybody's coming in. But I think that is really good quality to have to support everyone else in this industry, no matter what they do. Because you did the same with me. You were like, and you saw me coming in. And you're like, oh, everybody needs to follow this lady. And, and I'm like, okay, I'm just here to watch. But I think that is really great because I don't see a lot of people doing that. So that I sound like, I, I sound like uh, I love everybody, you know? Yeah, but it's it's good. I mean, showing Someone love, told... especially in this time, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. is what people need. Someone people need the support. Yeah, you love everybody, man. You love so you don't love anybody, <laughs> which is not true. I love, I really love a lot of people. I, I don't hate people because I think we're all brothers and sisters. Yeah. Even if someone, even I'm gonna say something crazy. Even the most terrible people on this earth right now, people who do some crazy choices and be yeah. so egocentric and close-minded. I love them also because they're all my brothers, and I think yeah. they need they need a big hug. You know, Donald Trump need a, a fucking big hug and a slap in the face. And be like, man, stop doing this bullshit. Come back, come back. W wake up. You should yeah. not be president. You should. That's what, he's, he don't have a, the the strength and the skills to be president. But he should be right. something else. He, right. he was good in something else. You know, I don't want to be. Ah, he's, uh, he's evil. No, he's not evil. It's just dumb. You know. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That's he, true. He, he can he can improve. You know. We I think improve. that's a really good good uh, trait to have to send all this love to people and try to try to convert everyone with love. Um, I think that's a big difference between you and your brother, probably. Um, Ooh, what did you say? What? <laughs> no, I mean, not in that, not saying that he Good doesn't thing. do that, but from the, the interaction that I've seen between you guys, he is, he is quickly um, annoyed if you get distracted by supporting everyone and talking to everyone. And he's like, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Maybe it's a, yeah, but, yeah, yeah then Scott, Scott has a different point of view because also, I mean, Scott, Scott's been uh, through a crazy, he moved to the state when he was 19. Okay. He left my, par my parents' house when he was 19. Wow. He, he had no money, nothing. He went to New York. He met this girl from Switzerland and they lived in the basement for years. Wow. And he was, I'm not kidding, he was eating toothpaste. When he has no money, he was eating toothpaste. You guys he... been through some terrible stuff. So he, he, he called me, only me. He was like, man, I have no money. I'm fucking broke. I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, and and uh, he's still going back to France, to our parents. He was like, no, I want to make it. I want to make it. And one day he got a call for a, a, a burlesque show. At the birthday, he make uh, De Niro, uh, you know, Whoopi Goldberg, Sting, wow. all these people, uh, Lou Reed. At the time, was, yeah. Uh, he started to work with Christina Aguilera. He started to, uh, so, so he made it. He made. He, 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 and now he's like in all the big production. He, right. He so it. the moral so, of the story of you and your brother is that if you just are determined to follow your passion, I don't you're know about gonna me. make it. I don't know about me. I just say. No, you you just told me the story about living in a jazz club. Yeah. But you didn't give up. What, what I mean, Scott, today, when it is not like me because he has, he's been through a lot of. Uh, like from really like like zero to like yeah. being in a, a jet set uh, with a uh, you know on Zimmer and uh, uh, yeah every story actually a crazy story when I moved to New York I was living on the couch I was fucking broke he, and Scott had so much work he was with his wife at the time he said I can't I can't help you man you can stay at my place you live in a really nice apartment he said you can stay one week but then you have to and then listen to that it's crazy and then he was doing a show with Steve Wonder. But he did the music for a movie, uh, John Wick, with uh, Kenya Reeves. John Wick, yeah. Kenya Reeves and uh, William Dafoe and stuff. And so the same night, he has a show with Stevie Wonder, and he had the, the premiere of the movie with the cast. The movie. And, because he did the casting, you know, he had two events at the same time. You understand? The, yeah, yeah, The yeah. show with Stevie Wonder, and, the, and he said, Tony, I'm going to give you my passport, because we're twins, and you're going to go to the premiere, and you have to act like you're me. No. Are you kidding me? No. So I took his passport. I took his fucking passport. He went to the show with Steve Wonder and Blake. I went to the premiere and I saw uh, Kenya Reeves. I'm not kidding. He sounded like I went to a bathroom. It was before the, 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 the public can go in. You know, it's only the cast, the actors and the musicians. Right. So I was the violin player, supposedly. And the. No, I was not. I was Scott. I was playing Scott. <laughs> and so I went to the, I went to the bathroom. 
to be whatever. And you know who was playing next to me? Kenny Reeves. He <laughs> looked at me. He was like, "Hey, you're a musician. You're a violin player." I was like, "Yeah, it's me." And, uh, and it's really I, not you. It's your brother. But yeah. okay, doesn't matter. And then, and then I went. I went back to see the movie. I was sitting behind a line, you know, like with a, a red. Uh, the red tape. You know, yeah, red tape with uh, Kenny Reeves, Brenda Fu, and I was sitting, sitting there. For a movie, and I watched a movie with her. I, I, I was like playing. It was not, and I was there. It was it was insane. So you didn't have to play the violin or anything, did you? No, but the funny thing is, that when I give back the passport to Scott, I was like, he was like, oh, it's cool to uh, train brother, man. And, uh, so it's where I, I start to see Scott has no, had no manager for a long time. Uh, I'm gonna stop, stop talking about it. So he was managing himself. So wow. he had a lot of things to, to, Going to deal on. with. Yeah. And so he couldn't be nice with people who, who didn't help him before. So I'm like this because I, I didn't have all this struggle. I mean, I had a big struggle, but not like, as crazy. Not so, as big as he is. Scott, right? he's, like, yeah, he to, he's hard to trust. You know, Scott, he don't trust people too, too much. He's, he's not giving, he's not sharing his will. You know, when we cut the life, we start, right. when we, we, cut, we call each other after the life. We, we, like we, did. we call each other and we... Yeah. We we talk about what stuff, happened, yeah. and he's not the same person, you know. It's different. Yeah, well, I like I like him f for the interaction that he has with you, and you know, thank you for sharing that story because that when I first jumped into your life with your brother, I was like, wait a minute, because I I didn't know you had a twin brother, and so mm -hmm. I was looking at the screen and I see two of you, and I'm like, oh, that's his brother, and so that's when I kind of started to to find out about you and you know your brother and him being just as talented but this is a funny story um about this whole movie premiere and you having to act like him i guess you got away with it yeah. i'm sure you guys did this more often when you were kids yeah but i know that instagram is going to cut us off in five minutes because we've been talking for an hour already um, no yeah we know. Time flies. Time can, we, flies. can we talk a little more well, we can, but then we have to come back in there. And um, so, yeah, it's going to cut us off. But I do want to say that if anything from the stories that you've been telling is that, you know, if you keep at it with your passion, you'll get to where you want to be and keep working on your skills, you know, to because even you now say I'm not that good because you still want to become better as an artist, as a musician. Because yeah, because I, also I'm too uh, uh, lucid. I'm too, too humble. Uh, no, not um, it's like I see, I see. Okay, I'm, I'm listening to 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 her. Yeah, you see what you can still have, yeah do. I have preferences. I'm like I'm not there. I'm not there. And uh, those guys, I mean, you know, I know, I know, I know. I'm not like I saw so many people of my age of my generation. Like yeah, I'm great at what I'm doing. I'm great at what I'm doing. I hate this phrase. You know, you're not right. great at what you're doing. You're great. You're stupid at saying, at saying you're great at what you're doing. You're, you're just great at what you're doing. You do what you do. It don't say you're great. Just do it with love and, and yeah. care. And, and someone will say it's great or not, you know, but you're not the That's one true. saying Let I'm other great. people decide if you're great. Yeah. yeah. I would love to see you um, perform by yourself um, over here sometime. I have a show. Uh, okay, so I have a show on Saturday at 11 a.m. Uh, European time, in front of the, of the ocean. He's on a quarantine live. We oh, wow. Put the, the ocean on the top and me playing. I'm going to turn my setup and play for a couple of minutes, 20, 30 minutes. And uh, Culture Folks, that's a website of Logan. Uh, Logan Richardson made this with uh, Ray Colum okay. and uh, some other people. And they did uh, this new platform where you can uh, listen live musician and they're getting paid. So Good. That's good. So people go to Tony's Instagram for the information if you want to check that out. Um, I want to ask you, how do I pronounce your last name? Tixie. Tixie. Tixie? Yeah. yeah. Even me, I, I, I have time to say Tixie. Tixie. Yeah. Now, I kind of did it okay, I guess, when I introduced you. But yeah, yeah. yeah. I know a little French. But um, I know I was actually talking about wanting to see you perform in person here. Um, once, you know, the quarantine is lifted, once we're kind of safe again, I would love to see you do your own show and not be part of somebody else's uh, yeah. quartet or, you know, whatever. I, would I, don't, know if be, I don't know if it's going to be possible in the, because uh, the shows, I mean, I don't know if we're going to be able to play like this soon. 
let's, let's well see. not anytime soon but once once you are able to do that i do want to see you play because i've seen you play with um with keon but i would love to see you play you by yourself um I, I i told you it's very soothing to see you play on instagram live when i'm in, late night in my bed i just watch you play and the music is just so soothing i love it i absolutely love it um Thank you. So yeah, but thank you for taking the time out too. Well, I want to talk more. I wish I wish we can say more, but anyway. No, hey, we're, well, we can talk later. I mean, I can call you back. No, you that's talk. jacket. Rebook. Rebook. <laughs> but why the jacket? Rebook. Thank huh? you. What, I have what, a matching what? legging that goes what? with it. Not What's wearing. the brand? What's the it's brand? a puma. It's puma. Oh, puma. Nice. Yes. Very nice. I'm trying to get sponsorship by them because I've been wearing Puma all my live talks and I'm, I'm trying to get them to throw me a bone and, and, and you know, um, present this live talk by Puma. But we're, we're in talks. We're in talks. Nice. But it's nice. working because people are seeing it. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, thank you so much. And I look forward to getting to know you better and, and seeing you play more. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank, uh, me too. Thank you so much for having me on your show. And uh, Yeah, we can do it again. If we're stuck for longer, then we'll just revisit this. Dude. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I was, I was terrible. Oh, Matt Jones is there. Matt Jones, I was talking about him. Matt Matt, yeah, Matt Jones. You're a little too late, but that's okay. You do, do you know Matt Jones? Later. Do you know him? I know him through you. Okay, so uh, I just got cut off because we got too carried away um, with this whole situation. <laughs> I forgot to look at the countdown. So, uh, people, I'm sorry that we just got cut off like that. But um, I guess we could talk further. Um, yeah, there he goes. Um, but <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. That is so funny. <laughs> Come on, Tony. <laughs> See, I told you that was going to happen. And I didn't look at the countdown because we were talking about Matt. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's my bad. Wow. that's okay we got we got excited and again you introduce so many people during your own live stream when you see them coming in that i you know look up these people when you give me information and i look them up and so yeah you you're doing a really great job supporting everyone else and, and promoting everyone else wow. which is i think is amazing because not a lot of people do that at all thank you very much and you know what uh yeah i'm sorry we get we got cut you don't need to do, you don't need to keep this video. You can keep the one before. You know right, right, right. I, I know. I just wanted to go back and, and say goodbye to everyone and thank you again. And thank you, Matt, for getting us cut off because we got excited about you. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> check out Matt Jones. Um, yeah. Uh, yes. Again, with all of the talks that I've done, one of the things is not just inspiring people and motivating people by talking about what um, musicians and artists do, but it's also to promote them. So me being a supporter of the arts, I love everybody to see everyone and be able to maybe work together or collaborate or get inspired by other creative talents. And you definitely are a person that inspires me with everything that you do. And I hope that that comes across to whoever's tuned in. So again, thank you so much, Tony. And I'm so happy that I know you because I'm going to stalk you about all your music oh, and shit. all your ventures. And uh, I definitely want to make it happen for you to perform out here. So if I have any say in that, then I will have you out here once the gates are open again. Yeah, please. <laughs> all right. Thank well, you so much, Faye. Yes, and please tell Scott to do at least one live stream a week so I can get my, my uh, Tixier brothers fix. <laughs> yeah, uh, you should invite him on this show. Oh, yeah, you know what? I will, but he might not want to do it. No, no he's going to do it. I'm going to tell him because he's crazy. Okay. <laughs> well, I might want to invite him and Cookie because I love Cookie. Oh! Cookie was so fun. Yep. I'm going to gonna tell him to bring, uh, bring Cookie. Oh, Matt says I thought that was Scott. <laughs> Yeah, this is Scott Tix here. I play violin. <laughs> <laughs> That's so hilarious. Yeah, I'm about to ask him for another twin story as well then. I'll, I, will, I will hit him up and ask him if he wants to join the show. Yeah, so many stories. Yeah. Let's, let's not share the sexual, sexual stories, you know, because... I mean... <laughs> no, 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 I don't want to hear those. I don't okay, no. We I have no need for that. But I'm sure you guys did some stuff like that. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You could say no for the people, but we all know different. <laughs>
That's, does he have a beard too now? I, I have no idea. He didn't call me for three days. So maybe. I will, yeah. I, will, I will tell him to call you and to be on my show. Yeah, please. <laughs> All right. Well, have a great day. Have a good concert uh, this weekend. And uh, I will be tuned in when I get a chance. And we'll talk later. Okay. Thanks, Thank everyone. And stay safe. Ciao. Bye. Bye-bye.